we are in a consultation with a patient who's coming for breast augmentation and every single breast augmentation consultation has one thing in common, talking about the size, um, choosing the incision, choosing overall under the muscle, choosing the, um, uh, the placement, those are the easy parts. Choosing the implant itself takes forever. And so we're thinking, of, you know, we're trying to decide, decide how big we wanna go. This patient wants to look natural, not too fake, so we're gonna go with a moderate profile implant, but she doesn't want to go too big and i'm telling her go a little bit bigger well, let me explain why so this is one of her wish is actually one of our patients who we posted and she likes the size of this patient now this patient you can see she's got a shadow going up here this is a sort of a rounder fuller look uh, she doesn't necessarily want to have the round look but she likes the size so when i look at this what it means to me is that she likes her more of the implants a little bit higher a little more to the side and so with this as a starting point, let's take a look at the patient herself. This is her, you can see she's got a very nice natural look to her breast. She wants to maintain the lower profile. She wants to have more on the bottom than on top. So we're definitely not choosing a high profile implant because high profile implants tend to give you a lot of volume up top. So we're going with a moderate profile implant and now we're trying to decide the difference between um, different sizes. So we're gonna go under the muscle. I'm gonna use the muscle as a little shelf that's gonna hold the implant and the implant's gonna come here. Now, initially the, the implant it shows was this one, but based on the wish figure that we just reviewed, I actually thought that going with a bigger implant would be something that would be more appropriate for her. And she's scared to go too big. But what I'm trying to show her here is that as these implants get bigger, they get wider, they get taller. So really the implant that she wanted would sit up to here. And the one I'm recommending goes up just a little bit more. So just a little higher a little more fullness up to very little we're going from 315 i think at 310 to 360. so that big number difference sounds like a lot but it's really just this much raise in the height so we have 310 and a 360 sounds like so much bigger but really when i place it here that's a 310 comes up to that line a 360 sitting at this shelf level goes up there so really, again, 310, 360, extra 50 cc's push you up by almost a centimeter, but just a little less than a centimeter. 310, 360. When I put them side by side, let me just hold them like this. So if you guys look at them like this, notice this one sticks out just a little bit more. The projection is the same. The difference really is in diameter. This one is wider. When I put them side by side like this, you can see this one sticks a little bit more. That's all it is. That's all the difference we're doing. So going up by 50 cc, that sounds like a lot, is really just a little more diameter. One more time. That's 360. That's 310. See that the projection is almost the same, pretty much the same. Really, the difference is this one is a little bit wider. So the difference in the increasing size results in a wider implant, not a more projecting implant.